what's up guys? I just want to make a quick video today to clear up a lot, a lot, a lot of questions that you guys have been having like about the GeoHot jailbreak and installing package files and stuff on 3.55. Basically what I'm going to do is show you how to remove Kakaroto if you're on Kakaroto and then install GeoHot. It's really easy but I guess there's just a lot of confusion on it. And also what I want to let you guys know is how to just fix any errors that you're getting like when you're installing package files or if you think that you are installing GeoHot's uh, firmware hack correctly but you're getting errors or just like three beeps and your PlayStation's turning off and you don't have installed package files. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys all about that. Um, I was going to include in this video too like the LB2 peek and poke syscall deal but it sounds like Sony has fixed patching LB2 a little bit to where it's kind of crippled our backup playing abilities and right now the developers that were making those peek and poke syscalls into a custom firmware we're having problems, so they're going to try doing it in LB1. And if more developments happen, I'll even I'll either put a blog post up or I'll make a video about it. Okay, so I'm going to have a whole bunch of links down in the description for you guys to download. I'm going to go and head over to my computer and show you what you need to do and how you can get GeoHot's firmware installed on your PlayStation and get a package file installed. Okay, guys, so let's just go ahead and get this done. This is really simple. All you need is a 3.55 PlayStation and a flash drive. If your PlayStation isn't on 3.55, go ahead and update it. If it's on 3.55 Kakaroto, or if you're still having other problems with getting errors while you're trying to install this, I'm gonna show you how to fix all of that. So you need your flash drive, and then over here on my screen here, you're gonna need these downloads that are down below in the description. Just download them. You're gonna need the official Sony 3.55 firmware update, which I have a link for, and you're gonna need GeoHot's jailbreak, and I have a link straight to his website where you can download his jailbreak from. So get both of those downloaded and then follow along with me. All you need to do is unzip them. So we'll go ahead and do GeoHot's Jailbreak first. Just unzip it right out to your desktop and you'll have a folder called Jailbreak. And then let's just go ahead and unzip the Sony 3.55 firmware update. This is really important. You're going to need this too, so make sure you follow this step. All right, that's unzipping. Let me drag this over to my monitor here. Okay, so now we have both of them unzipped. We have the jailbreak and the official 3.55 firmware update. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my flash drive and pop it into my computer. And I'll go ahead and open it up here. Okay, so now on your flash drive, you want to make sure that you have a folder called PS3. And if you don't have it, make it right there new folder and then open up PS3 and then inside of that folder you want to make another folder called update so go ahead and make that folder now inside ordinarily you wouldn't have anything so now once you have your update folder you want to go ahead and open up your official Sony 3.55 firmware folder and inside you're gonna see a file called PS3 updat.pup so that's our official 3.55 update grab a hold of that and drag it onto your flash drive into the update folder it's about 170 megabytes and it'll take probably 20 seconds to go over there. Okay, once that finishes, you can go ahead and close out your flash drive. You don't need that anymore. And you can go ahead and remove your flash drive from the computer. Head on over to your PlayStation and follow along with me. Okay now, so whatever firmware your PlayStation's running, I don't care if it's running 3.41, if you're running uh, firmware 3.55 official from Sony, if you're running Kakaroto anything, just follow along with my directions here. I promise if you follow along with me exactly, you will not get any errors once you get the GeoHot firmware installed and you'll be happily running homebrew in just a few minutes. So go ahead and just take your PlayStation here and make sure that it's off, but the red light's on so it's in standby mode. Go ahead and press and hold your power button and just keep holding on to it. It's going to turn on, but don't let go. It's going to beep again. Keep holding it and keep holding it until your PlayStation power is off again. Okay, so there. So it powered off, so I'm going to go ahead and let go. Now press and hold the button again. The PlayStation is going to beep once. Keep holding the button. It's going to beep twice. There's the two beeps. Now you can let go. Once that happens, it's going to come up and it's going to say, please connect the controller using a USB cable and then press the PS button. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my USB cable here. What we just did, by the way, we put the PlayStation in recovery mode. And that's a very important step to getting this firmware installed. So make sure that you follow it. Alright, press the PS button. Scroll all the way down to number 6, System Update. Press X. It's going to say, connect the storage media that contains the update data for the version 3.55 or later. Or it's going to say whatever version you're on, but regardless of what you're on, just do this, please. So make sure that you have the 3.55 official update on this flash drive like I told you. Go ahead and plug it in. And now it says press Start and Select at the exact same time. So here we go. Start and Select. 
gonna say checking, please wait. Don't be surprised if this takes a couple of minutes. Then it's gonna say preparing to update, and that'll take just a couple of minutes, just let it go. Okay, so that's on 100%. You're gonna notice the PlayStation kinda looks like it resets. It's gonna come up and it's gonna say PS3 system software version 3.55. Press the PS button. Checking for update data, please wait. Okay, then it comes up with the user agreement. Go ahead and read through that if you want, and then just accept it. It's gonna tell you not to turn off your PlayStation or you could break it, you should probably know that by now. Press X and it's gonna start installing. This will take a few minutes, just let it go and come back after a few minutes and it should be done. Okay, so once that finishes, your PlayStation is going to restart. All right, just go ahead and get all signed into your PlayStation here. Okay, now once you get booted into the XMB, just go ahead and go over to your, your settings, go to your system settings, and then let's go ahead and go down to system information. And you'll see right there, bada bing, you're on version 3.55, I'll zoom in a little bit. There you go, hope you can see that. Okay, so now we know that we're on official 3.55 firmware. You see that I just got signed into the PlayStation Network over here. Go ahead and add me if you want to, there's my screen name. Okay, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is install the GeoHot now. So I'm gonna go back over to my computer, I'm gonna show you how to put the GeoHot jailbreak on this flash drive, and we're gonna come back over here and get that installed. It's a lot easier. You guys just did the hardest part, I promise. Okay, now once you're done with your PlayStation, you've got your official 3.55 firmware update installed. Go ahead and grab your flash drive again. Let's pop it back into the computer. And open it up here. All right, you wanna go back into your PS3 folder. You wanna go back into your update folder. And then you should see your PS3 update.pup file. That's the official 3.55 update. Since we've already put that on the PlayStation now, that's half the battle, you're almost done. Go ahead and delete that. And now the file that you unzipped earlier called jailbreak, this is GeoHot's jailbreak file. You wanna go ahead and open up that folder. And then inside you're gonna see the same thing. It's PS3 update.pup. The thing that you're going to notice about this file, and a lot of people are asking questions, yes, this file is only 5 megabytes. It's considerably smaller than an actual firmware update because it's not a full update. It's just modifying the 3.55 firmware that you just installed. That's why it's important that you're on the official 3.55 firmware update and not Kakarota, which I just showed you how to remove. So now that you have this on your flash drive, go ahead and close out of your flash drive, safely remove it and head back over to your PlayStation and follow my directions. Okay, so now that we have the GeoHot jailbreak on the flash drive, let's go ahead and pop it into the front of the PlayStation. Cool part is this time, you won't have to go into the system recovery mode, so we're just gonna go ahead and go right over to settings, go all the way up to system update, and update via storage media. And then it, you'll see here it's gonna fi find update data, and it's gonna say 3.55-JB. That's how you know that you're installing jailbroken firmware. So just press OK. This is gonna install very quickly. And here's a license agreement. Um, GeoHot actually typed this. It's kind of funny if you want to read it, but you don't have to, whatever. Um, so accept the user agreement. Uh, start the update. This installs very quickly. Like I said, it's only 5 megabytes. That's why. Or that's how you can tell. PlayStation will just restart. It's going to beep. You're going to think that your PlayStation is going to blow up. It's going to beep like 8 or 10 times. Don't let that scare you because it's not going to blow up immediately, it'll just blow up after 15 seconds, so you have time to get you and your belongings out of the room. Nah. The, the PlayStation will sit here on a black screen for a while, just let everything run its course, and then it's going to beep a few more times. Once it's all said and done, the PlayStation's going to turn off. Okay, now once the PlayStation turns off, just go ahead and turn it back on. Okay, now that you'll know that you have the jailbroken firmware installed, because you should see install package files folder right here. Do you see that? So now that's where you're going to install homebrew from. Right now you don't have any homebrew yet so we're gonna go back over to my computer and I'm gonna show you a sample homebrew file. Uh, we'll just install the FTP server. Okay now that you have the GeoHot jailbreak on your PlayStation and you do have the install package files folder and you do notice when you click on it it's just blank. That's because you actually have to download homebrew package files and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to download one right now and how to get it installed on your PlayStation. So right now in the links below I have the FTP server package file that will work on 3.55 available for download. So go ahead and download that, click on the link and then when you, if you download it out to your desktop you should see here it's called FTP server underscore one two dot PKG. So you just need to go ahead and grab your flash drive and pop it into your computer. Go ahead and get it opened up here. OK, 
Okay, now that you have your flash drive pulled up, uh, you will see your PS3 folder and all of your other folders. Now keep in mind that package files don't need to go in any type of folder on your flash drive. You just put it in like the main directory of your flash drive. So go ahead and grab that FTP server package file and just drag it onto your flash drive. It's really small to go over instantly. So there you go, you now have the package file on your flash drive. So go ahead and close out of your flash drive, safely remove it, head over to your PlayStation and follow my instructions on installing it. Okay, so now that I'm back from my computer, I just helped you guys put the FTP server on the flash drive. Let's go ahead and pop it into the PlayStation. Okay, so now just go to install package files, press X, and if your flash drive is all the way in, you're going to see FTP server underscore 12 dot PKG. You'll recognize that file because we moved it over just a minute ago. So there it is. Just go ahead and press X on it. It's going to install. If all went well, you shouldn't get any errors. If you get errors or anything, Go back to the beginning of the tutorial and watch it over again and try it again because this is really simple guys and I know that it works so maybe it'll just take you a couple tries. So now just go ahead and press back and then you should see the FTP server right there. Press X on it and you can open it up and by the way you can take out your flash drive. You don't need that anymore unless you're going to install more homebrew. And then there you go. That's the black box FTP server running. Um, I'm not going to explain it to you guys. Um, if you need the FTP server you'll know what it is. Basically, that's it. You guys are all set. You can now run homebrew. Backups, I'm sure, are going to come soon. So just be on the lookout for that. I'll post the video. Just make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. That's all I can tell you. Okay, guys, so that's all that there is to it. See, I told you it's really easy. Like I said, there's just a lot of confusion on it. Um, I'm sure you guys will still have some questions, though. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me some questions down in the comments. Don't hesitate to PM me on YouTube. Also, check out my website, ChrisTechTV.com. Go on the forums. There's a lot of support there for you guys and just ask away and I'll try to get all the questions answered. You can also email me, email is down there. One more thing, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my videos. And just another thing for you to do is if you want to get all the newest updates from me like before I make a blog post or a video, make sure you like my Facebook page and I will have a link for that down below as well. But I, that is it and I will see you guys in the next video.